50 country and western entertainers of all time by the American Cowboy Magazine. Along with an active touring schedule, she presents a weekly radio program called Blessed Trails, where she shares her strong faith through music and interviews with guests. When not touring, she and her husband Bob share their home in Prescott, Arizona with their dogs and Palomino horses, which they ride each year in the Rose Bowl Parade. Since her beginning in Western music, Belinda has relied on mentoring and close friendships of Wesley and Marilyn Tuttle. So close that even today she calls Marilyn mom. Belinda Gale. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> okay, I'm short. What can I say? Such an honor to be here. Where's Marilyn? She's hugging grandchildren. She's having so much fun with all these kids. Well, this I'm going to actually do two songs and tell you a quick story about Marilyn. Um, but this first one is one that Marilyn asked me to do. So, of course, I do what Mom tells me. I'm a good daughter. Oh, Shenandoah, I long to hear you. I long to hear you away, I'm bound away, cross the wide Missouri, tis seven long years since I last saw Thank you so much. I'm going to have my husband Bob come up. This is so fun. When um, um, I lost my husband in 2008, and um, um, when Bob and I were dating, we actually I went on a trip with Marilyn, and Bob joined us for a little piece of it to kind of hang out with us. And after he left, so Marilyn says, "So are you going to marry this guy?" And I said, "I don't know yet, Marilyn." And she said, "Well, if you don't, I am." <laughs> <laughs> Belinda asked me to say something about what Marilyn means to me, and somebody might say, well, it's crossword puzzle, or it's her faith, or her willingness to teach people music and all that sort of thing. And to me, it's just one word, fall down laughing. Oops, that's three words. Isn't it? <laughs> um, but when Marilyn and I talk, it's just we're always saying things and each of us start laughing and laughing and laughing and it's hard not to laugh around her she's just a happy person 
I received, I had a birthday that last week, and I received this birthday card. And it's one of those cards that folds out so that there's several pages to it. It's not just a single opening. And it was all written in Spanish. I don't read, I don't speak Spanish. And I'm opening it up, and I'm thinking, guys, there's something more here, more. And I get to the end of it, and it's signed, I don't know either. <laughs> So, uh, I just love Marilyn. She's fun and funny to be around, and she's such a gift and a blessing to Belinda and I. So, thank you. Thank you. I could, I could tell a million Marilyn stories and, and probably take up a, an hour doing it because uh, she and Wes became important in my life very early on in my 20-year uh, music career and um, became mentors. Um, that little climb at the end of Shenandoah was um, inspired by something that Wes taught me. And um, so they have just have really impacted not only my, my singing career, but, um, you know, sometimes we have difficult relationships with our nat natural parents. And I loved my, loved my late mother dearly, and she was a wonderful woman, but we he just had a very, very difficult, difficult relationship. And um, at one point, um, Marilyn was with me when something really hurtful happened, and she just put her arms around me and said, Honey, this is why God put me in your life. She said, I, I'm your mom. He put me in your life to be mom. And she has been the mom of my heart ever since then, and just such a treasure. And um, when I was doing my gospel album, I told uh, she and Wes, Wes was still alive then, that I wanted them to sing on my album. And, and of course, Wes was in pre-Alzheimer's by the time I got to meet them, but not before he could teach me a whole bunch of Stuart Hamblin songs and licks on guitar. Um, but so uh, they agreed. They said, yeah, we'll do that. That'll be really fun. And I said, so she, but she called me up one day and she said, honey, Wes is slipping really fast. So if you want him on this gospel album, we better get this down now. And so we weren't near ready to record the album, but they came up and we found a studio and we worked on a song. And it was so sweet because Marilyn is always so giving and generous. Wes wanted it to be a duet, their part, and she said, no, I'm just going to sing on the chorus. It's going to be you and then Belinda and me on the chorus. And he's like, no, honey, I want you to sing. No, I'm not going to. And you know when Marilyn digs her heels in, what that's like. Um, and so we, um, we practiced and practiced, and it sounded great, and we went into the studio, and Wes got so nervous about being in the studio and so worried about how much this was costing, and he kept doing it over and over again, um, and that he was just, he couldn't get, he kept forgetting the words. And so finally, he said, Mar he said, honey, you need to come in here and sing this with me. And so the studio guy, Marilyn, agreed because she knew that was the only way we were going to get through that session. Um, and so the studio guy, the engineer, had hooked up an Omni mic, and they literally stood across the mic holding hands. And he had macular degeneration, so he couldn't see very well, so he got as close as he could so he could see Marilyn's face. And they were holding hands, looking at each other as they sang their part of the song. And every time I hear that song, I think of that. And the whole engineer room was in tears by the time they got done with that song. It was so beautiful. And that's how we closed out on my gospel album. And I'm going to bring Marilyn up, and she's going to do the, the chorus with me on Haven of Rest. just like her when I grow up. That's all I got to say. <laughs> is this one live? Yes. Yeah. I think okay. so. Are you going to talk? Is this mic live? Get yes. right in it, Mom. Right in the front. Okay. You know how to yeah, do that. Yeah, it's live. Okay. okay. <laughs> Probably better if it's dead, but that's all right. I'm going to close my part out. There's so much to, for, to the happen today and so many people that want to talk, so uh, this is going to be my last little piece here. My soul in sad exile was tossed on life's sea, so burdened by sin and distress. And I heard a sweet voice saying, Make me your choice. 
and I entered the haven of rest. I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. I'll sail the wide seas no more. The tempest may sweep o'er the wide Jesus, I'm safe evermore. I yielded myself to his tender embrace in faith, taking hold of his word. The fetters fell. And I anchored my soul. The haven of rest is my Lord. I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. I'll sail the wide seas no more. The tempest may. Finding my part, find my part, and I would watch Marilyn. She would direct me on where where I was supposed to be going on my harm, and she would direct me with her eyebrows because she was singing. So she would clue me in whether she was going up or down by going to <laughs> where we were singing. <laughs> I love you, Mom.